Yep. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome uh, to the uh, Grover Tech Training uh, Interactive Wireless Students Response System. In this workshop, we will have three sessions. So today, we are going to cover the beginner session. Then in the coming weeks, we will have an intermediate level. Then finally, we will have an advanced level workshop. Okay. So let me start with an overview about the training. So today, we will uh, talk about, okay, what is this new technology? You know, the main information about this technology. So we will discuss, we will discuss about that. Then we will co cover about what are the main features of this technology. Then we will um, discuss about the five main applications about this technology. So these are the main things that we are going to do. Then we will have a 101 you know, workshops, you know, to just get into this, um, using this technology. So I will show you first, then we will do a practice. So that's the main idea about this um, workshop. Okay, let's begin with this. What is this technology? As you, as you know, it's a, um, it maximizes interactive learning opportunities. You know, if you are in a big class, about 70 or 100 students in a class, you know, if you want to get more response from the students, this technology is a great tool. So creating more stimulating environment, you know, when students, when participate into this uh, uh, activity, so it's create, you know, more stimulating environment and motivates the students, you know, to be a part of the class. Mm, then encourage students to participate. So this is are the main some of the activities of this technology. Let's move on to the main features of this technology. It's similar to the you know main function. So it create an active learning environment. We can create an active learning environment with this technology. Then real time assessment so that's one of the main you know problem that teachers are facing you know when they ask a question whether the students they really understand uh, you know the um, question or the topic so then you can assess the real time so that's one of the main thing then customize content you know you can with this technology you can um, use different materials you know you can create a powerpoint and uh, you can create you know a group discussion like a different way you can customize the content then also finally you you will be able to create the statistics report the overall class profile or with that particular subject you can get at the same time you can get individual um, report as well so then performance report also okay if you want to know how well a student is doing that one also you can get from this uh, technology okay so interactive instructional activities let's move on there are different types of activities you can do first one is the ordinary quiz it's the prepared teaching materials in various question formats uh, you can ask you know uh, questions like to check their up knowledge level you can create some of the questions you know the true or false questions or you know that kind of different level formats you can create then the competition quiz that is you can divide the whole classroom into different group group a group b group c then you can have a competition among you know the groups so that's the great way you know to create that kind of more active uh, learning environments. Then this is another type, you know, the Bilsen quiz. That means whoever answer the question first, they will be the winner. Oh, so that kind of things you can do that. And when they do that, does their name show up? We can, if, if we want, we can show, we can see their name. Otherwise, we can just close it. Yeah, actually the teacher, you know, will be able to know all the details you know teacher has the control about that then uh, then this is another type of game you know the kick out game then so this means you know we will ultimately find the whole winner if the student is 
saying a wrong answer, he will be kicked out of the game. Okay, so then finally who is scoring the more, he will be the winner of the game. So we can have that kind of a game kind of environment in the classroom. Then prompt question, this means uh, if you want an immediate response from the classroom, okay, you are teaching a very uh, abstract concept in the classroom, then if you want to know whether students knew anything about you know that concept, you can just have a real time assessment. Okay, let's class, okay, how many of you know this concept, you can just have a prompt question, so then you will get a feedback. Okay, 70% of the students knew about this concept, so then I don't need to explain more introduction, just I can go to the, you know, the intermediate level. That. Then pick out, you know, for example, if you have a 50 students uh, in your classroom, then you want to know randomly you can, when you click one button here, then you can randomly assign one, select one student you know, based on their, um, I didn't, uh, you know, the clicker number. So for example, if I have 50 students, I will just randomly select, okay, 27. Whoever has the remote key, 27, they have to answer that question. So that's the prompt, I pick out student random to answer a how question. Do, how do you pick out the random student? Do you, do you or does the machine? This, the machine will do that. Okay. Machine will randomly, so I can show you that how we will do that, it will randomly select that uh, student. Okay, so the pre-planned quiz is the most important one, so if you have already uh, a question, so you can use that question into different way. Okay, you can use the same questions as an ordinary quiz or a competition quiz or business quiz. Just the main thing is just to have, you know, the question, okay, questions and answers, answers. Then if you have that questions and answers, all, all advanced, prepared advanced, then you can change that pre-planned pre, pre cues into different format, okay. So let's uh, look into the teacher's remote. So this is the teacher's remote. Okay, so in this teacher's remote, you will be able to see different options and uh, see the first one, just like the application switch, so you will be able to switch the application, then this uh, statistical chart, okay, that will give you the whole statistical of students. Then if you want to get the show answer, you can press the show bu answer button then play multimedia even, you know, in your presentation or in your quiz, if you want to put, you know, some songs or some pictures, all those things you can add into that. Then scoreboard, you know, the whole class list, then uh, restore eliminated students. You know, sometimes, you know, in the, you know, knockout game, if some students go out, if you want to put them back, you can do that through that, through this uh, switch. So this is the teacher remote. Then uh, if you go to the student remote, it looks like this, the student remote. You know, the top three are, um, there is no function right now. Okay, they have reserved for the future application. So top three, there is no function right now. Then keys one to nines are used for answering. Okay, in right now in this version, we are just using only one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so seven and eight, nine are still not using. Okay, these are the five options. For example, if you have multiple choice question, you can have up to six, six options. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, you don't use them. No, right now it's not in, in the um, working, you know, it's reserved for future applications. So the self-paced, we will discuss that one in the later advanced uh, workshops. Okay, in the classroom, so this is the key, software will always accept the last key pressed by the student as the final answer. Okay, so the students are able to change their answer to any question up until the teacher presses the pause key. So you can see the pause uh, pause key, so you know, did you see the pause key up here? 
see this is the pause key. So if the student press, teacher press the pro, pause key then after that student cannot answer or if they press the statistical chart after that they will not be able to answer the question. Up until the student teacher press any of these keys they can they will be able to change their answer. Okay, post key or statical chart key or goes to the next question or orally telling that is okay, stop class, then they won't be able to do that. Time. So, let us go uh, uh, to the desktop. So, you will be able to see a uh, in the desktop, you will be able to see a folder called got it in. See. Then, just to click on the activity just to click on the activity. So, when you click on that activity, you will be able to see this window. <laughs> so, when, when you are in this one, then you know, you can, if you are teaching, you know, the different classes. For example, in here, you know, the nursing, uh, health science or clinical judgment or health nursing. So, whatever, you know, the course you know, you are teaching, you just select the course that you want. Here in this example, you can just, just select the main one up there. So, select the desired class, then you will be able to see this window. Okay, did you see that in your window? In your, okay. So, then you know from here, you can select different types of activities. You know, we as I mentioned earlier, you know, there are pre planned quiz, ordinary quiz, competition quiz, business quiz, knockout game. So, there are different ones. Here for this, purpose. In this workshop, we are just taking the ordinary keys. Okay, just to select the ordinary keys. Okay, so when you select, you know, the uh, desired quiz, then just click on uh, the select desired activities, then you will be able to see this window. So, there, you know, once you are in this window, if you have, you know, you have to have the questions already. So, you have to prepare the question. So, if you know, you know the folder where it is located. So, what you can do? You can just click, you know this side. Okay. Okay. So, when you go here, just to go to the desktop and uh, look at the folder called got it in, got it folder, you will be able to see exercise folder, exercise file. There is a folder called exercise file uh, question. So, so once you are up there, so you will be able to see this, you know, just go, when you click up there, you will be able to see open window, then select the files you want. For example, clinical judgment or mental status assessment, whatever the file you have created, you know, just to select that one, then press open. So, in this example, just to select the clinical judgment. So, you will be able to see this window, okay. This are you in that window? I hit, I click on okay. Okay. So, now it's, we are in the same page. So, now I am going to show, um, okay. So, let us when you get into that, so then um, press ready, click okay. Okay. It is now, did you able to see the same window? So, in the top window, you know, you will be able to see, the, you know, the type of uh, activity name. If it is an ordinary case, you will be ordinary case. Then, the timer, it will come down, you know, if it is a 60 second or 30 seconds, within 60 seconds, they can answer the question. Then, this is the title of the file, okay. Here, here also, this is the toolbar in this side, you know, similar to the teachers click a teachers remote control okay so same for activities also up there if you are in in front of the desktop you can use that or if you are moving around you know in the classroom you can just use this one okay, okay. so then in the downside uh, you will be able to see this one you know the answer sheet if it is a red man means student has answered the question okay then if it is a green means student has not answered in the question. Okay, then if the you know the black one that means there were only four options. 
or for example the multiple choice question there were only four options but the student pressed the fifth option it's out of range the op option was not there so he can come and come back and press a or b or c whatever the option within the range of that option so then you know the you know the bulb that means the student is answering the question okay so then if you want to see the answer so we sh uh, ask the question so time is up then if you want to see the answer you know in the teacher's remote control there is an icon like this leaf just to press that that's the show answers okay when you press that this will show okay the green blood is the answer so a is the answer so we will be able to know how many students they answered the a okay so then when you go up to the second one if you press the same leaf second time okay if you pressing the show answers button second time it will bring an alternative display this will show you okay how many students answered a for example here you can see that you know the four students answered a and the three students answered b and two students answered c and one student answered uh, you know C, D. So you will be able to get that. So that's the show answer button. You, when you press this one, you will show answer in the teacher remote control. So this leave simple. So then if you want, you know, the uh, students and the chart of the students. Okay, so you just press on this button. Okay, so when you press this chart symbol up here, you will be able to see okay 50 percent of this class you know answered this a and 20 percent answered c and uh, c and b and the 10 percent answered d so you, you when you press the chart button you will be able to get that answer so it's a graph yes graph the whole class you know the graph so when you go to the next one you know if you want to display the cumulative score of each student and total score of the class you have to press you know that uh, print there is a print button here up here in you know the teacher remote control kind of a print sign oh, do you see that good. yeah and yeah one, oh, there's one there. yeah so both in the toolbar also in the teacher remote control also it's there so it will show you you know whoever answered see you can see that each remote control you know I uh, let for example in this one for example, this one is the three. Three is, you know, Abby James. So that's you can set up, you know, enter that I remote control ID and the student name you can integrate in the beginning of the okay. class. Okay, so let's, uh, right now I'm going to show you how uh, to do that. So let's go to the folder. Uh, when you go up here, you just see the got it in. So then, uh, first you have to go to the activity folder so when you press the activity folder okay so you need to select you know the course that you want to you have already entered okay then select the ordinary quiz then is this closing yeah. or is it yes escape then go and select the file So select the file you have already created, then click open. So once you selected that file, okay, now just click OK. This ste steps you know, right? So just to selecting the correct file. And you pulled it up, you loaded yeah, the file. Yeah, you loaded the file just like any other, you know, system. Then click OK, so you will be able to see that whenever you are, you can ask OK, the whole class whether the students are ready or not. Then when they are ready, just, you know, you can use this teacher remote control. So just click OK. So now it's loading. So you, can, you will be able to see that the question number one. And you can answer some of the questions. So you can just press, yeah. So see now, the if I want to press, you know, OK, I think I pressed the pause button. See, the, when, if I can control, still I can control. You know, when I press pause, then the timer will be gone. So then, uh, I think eight is still announced. Oh, it's time up. <laughs> so. What is that that just came up? 
Oh, pause. pause. Yes. yes, that means time up. So if I want to see the answer, what does your heart pump? Just to press, you know, the club button. So when I press that, see, that's the answer. Blood is the answer. Only three students answered the correct answer. So if I press again, I will get the whole idea. So out of how many answered? Five, seven, eight students answered. Only three got the correct answer. OK, then if I want to know uh, the chart, you know, the overall class chart, I can just, you know, 37% of the student answered this one. Then only, you know, three, 25 students, so you will get. So even if still I want more detailed information, I can just press, you know, I can get to know, okay, who are God, you know, the names will be appeared up there. So we will get that answer. And you can have as many as 45 of these? Yes, even 100. Oh, you do? Have, yeah, you yeah, we, yeah, we have 100, 100. yes. 100, yeah. 45, 45, yeah, around 80, I think. 80 and still yeah we have 100 extra also we have so we have 100 yeah, students our classes with um, 47 and a half oh perfectly we can, can work. Do, uh, we were talking to Tony you could do like uh, quiz bowl teams you could have teams would that be of, fun or what yeah you could have teams of like you could have just you know 10 different teams of four people each or however many yeah, people you have nice. in the class and you could do like a quiz bowl type of thing. So where everyone, a team would just have one clicker, they could share a clicker. So, you know, if you want, um, uh, so then press. So then if you want to go to the next question, you can just press, you know, the, you know, blood is filled, you know, you can go to another question. So you can uh, answer again. So it's similar process that we are doing so same i just put put you know this picture you know you can even you can add some multimedia files also you can do that so it's similar okay so again if you want to see the oh yeah <laughs> see number c is the answer so if you click again the show answer button you will be able to see this answer then if you want this chart C, number C, 55 students answered the question. If you want more detail, each student's response, just to press that, so each student's response will be answered. Okay, so let's... Can you tally it so that at the end of the quiz, you see all the responses at once, so that you can print that out and have... And yes, see yes, you can. yes okay. you can do that. So then if you want to pick out a student's you know, see this is the prompt, because so you can just go pick out, so I'm going to do that. So, you know, even group or single, you can do, so now I'm here going to do the single one. So then, so whoever has the delegate number seven, he has so to answer. Random. Yes. What did you press on that to do that? Um, just this button, the star button. So then if you have, if, who is who is having the number seven? No, probably it's up there. Yeah, seven. Just answer. He has to answer that question. Did he answer? Yeah, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Since we had answered that question. Maybe ha does it have to be a new one? Yeah. So the last question. So if I want to. Pick out a student. Okay, prompt. Okay, I think. Oh, I have to check. I, oh. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I think now you can answer that question. Can you try? Did you try? Yeah. No. Now it's answered. Oh yeah. Did. Yeah. So then it will show. So I have to press it again. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, so let's uh, let's uh, move on to create some of the simple question, three questions, okay. So in the, to do that, uh, let's go, just to go to the editor, okay. Did you see that in the got out, fo got it folder, just to go to the editor. So when you are in the editor, okay. 
So just say file new question, you are going to create a new question. So just type whatever the course you want. So I am going to NRSC 20 zero. So other whatever you can select, you can just type your name. Okay, then title of the course. Okay, um, public health policy, policy. So click OK. So now you will be able to see this window. Once we are in this uh, window, are we in the same page now? OK. So then if you have in a Word document, if you have the question, so here, you know, in the exercise file, uh, I have created, you know, exercise file one, two, and three. OK. So here, let's take this one. OK. So if you have in a Word document like this one, just to cut and paste, control C, you know, then open up here, type. Oh, if you want, you can type as well. So if you are very free, just, just any like any Word document, you know, change little font size, little big, you know. Then, you know, if the answer, if you know blood, then, so here, you know, you can, um, in the correct answer, just select, click on the correct answer. So here, you know, A is the answer, or you have to just tick mark that button. So then A will be the answer. Okay. So then, you know, uh, you, can, you can set the time up here. Okay. So if it is just, if you want only 30 seconds instead of one minute, you can just put it at 30 seconds. You can give the point one point or 10 point. So whatever the point you can give there. Then you can select the difficulty. If it is a very difficult question, you know, you can range from one to five. So I'm going to put one, it's not. So then the classification, you know, you can say, okay, whether it is analysis question or an understanding or application or, you know, integration or evaluation. So I think it's a knowledge kind of question so you can put that so here also you can select you know the different type whether it's a single answer or a multi answer or a true or false you can select that or if it is a competition quiz even single answer or true or false then boost in so all these kind of things you can do that okay so once just in this exercise we are going to stop here with this one question so then once you are done with the questions, okay, so then, um, um, okay, you have to save that, file, save. So if you have more questions, so just whatever the file, then here right now I am going to save it. Desktop, California, uh, exercise file. Yes, file. So I'm just type the health policy. Yes, save. So now this has been saved. Okay. So if I want to run this question, so you will be able to see this run activity. Did you see this? When you click up here, it will get into. You know, again, you have to select which course you are taking. So ordinary quiz. So. If you are not sure if this is not the file you are taking, just to go and you know the folder you saved it. I know it's it was this folder, exercise file, yes file, health policy, open. I opened it. If it is the right policy, then click OK. So they will ask OK. As a help, you know, just to send us the questions, the questions you have, then we will be able to create the files for you okay thank you thank you very much for coming and i hope you enjoyed